All right, I want to say Shalom, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash, double honest to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessing to the Akim out there. It's pushing his word of truth and sincerity with a labor of love. All right, this is GMS Joplin with a quick lesson on the virgin birth. Okay, and like to be able to speak a little bit about the virgin birth. And um, I want to, you know, say Shalom to like the Elder Yasharamba, um, Elder Apostle Tahar, and a lot of the other brethren um, that have done these topics. Um, it's my turn, and um, you know, I've land back borrowed um, a lot of good points. Um, it really could be a very, very lengthy, long lesson from the etymology of words um, to um, certain. Um, uh, rituals and um, things and customs of that day, uh, except, you know, for the sake of time, um, and also for a proper, maybe more lengthy uh, breakdown, I, I would probably um, go ahead and suggest to go and look at Apostle Elder Tahar or Elder uh, Yashramba's uh, breakdown of this, which um, I really was edified by, um, so... That's just a, something to go on. So this is my breakdown on it. I'm going to condense, try uh, to get this in as quick as possible. Um, so let's go. Let's get to it. So right now we're in the book of Matthew. And even before before that, I like to go to Ruth. And Ruth is in chapter 4, um, and it's verse 21. Right here it says, And Salmon, Salmon begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed, all right. Um, so I want to go and jump here in Matthew verse one, one and verse five. Um, actually, one and one. It says the book of the generation of Yahawashai Hamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Now, quickly, right there, the son of David, the son of Abraham. We know that it says that the patriarch. And the pedigree is established by the man. All right. So easily we should be able to understand that whenever you see a genealogy order, especially in Matthew, Luke has one also. Uh, we just saw in Ruth, they have it also. Various books carry them. You should know, listen, that is the genealogy starting um, with, the, you know, the patriarch. Um, you know, there's mat the matriarch. Uh, matriarchal um, uh, type of, you know, uh, lineage and, and descriptions that happen and take place. But specifically, the pedigree is established through, um, you know, through uh, uh, the father, all right? So right there, that is your attention, is Matthew 1 and 1, all right? To the precept for that Ruth 4 and 1, Okay, is and Salmon be, is Matthew one and five, Salakia, and Salmon begat Booz of Rahab, and Booz begat Obed of Ruth, and and Obed began Jesse. All right, so you know also says the root of Jesse. So we understand here that this is a lineage, and I don't think a lot of Christian people are denying the aspect that is a, a lineage. Okay, they see that. They say that, you know, uh, the root of Jesse, and they, they, and they go on and on and on, but they very age-old um, Babylonian or Egyptian, pagan is a very good word for it, um, uh, type of thing has happened. and also goes to show you now that Babylon, which is a.k.a. America, okay, and um the spiritual Sodom, Egypt all over again, uses that. And they also get it from Catholicism. So good old Catholicism, nothing good about it, but they it actually takes Christianity modern day bo uh borrows from Catholicism. Maybe that's why a lot of the reprobate or whatever think that, um, you know, or people that's, you know, gone off, bug, bug outs, kind of think that Babylon is, you know, the Vatican. 
or you know Catholicism. You know, ain't saying nobody ain't saying that they not uh, uh you know <laughs> Satan. Nobody's saying that them them fools ain't absolutely out of their mind. But it ain't America. You know, Babylon ain't the Vatican. It is what you see now, America, the Babel, land of confusion. Alright? So let's continue. Matthew 1 and 5 states states that. And that's really important before I get to um, up here in verse 20. And start at 22. And it says, Salakia 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us, verbatim. Okay, now, very interesting, that word um, about virgin. Now, <laughs> listen, the one aspect, and people claim to be so, which is pride, so smart, and just absolutely, you know, know about the Bible, I read the Bible backwards and forwards, and it's really demons and a blinding that's been put on them, where they can't be able to, to break, to understand, okay, um, when I was young, I went to Catholic school, alright, and it took a lot for me to break out of the whole thing about praying to Mary and, and whatnot, I didn't understand, I thought that was a, just another addition, you know, hey, you could pray to God, then Jesus, and then you know, add one more. You know, we're all sinners. We could use an extra one, okay? Truth of the matter is, is that, you know, that had nothing to do with it. Mary had nothing, you know, <laughs> to do with it. No one says, and it does not explain here, that Mary did not have sex, okay? Now, the word here is Strong's G3933, all right? And I'll say that word here. Okay, so Parthenos. Now, there's a lot of different words that the, that the scriptures use, okay? And, um, but let's look at here at Parthenos, okay? Because here in this instance, and this is not the only word for virgin, okay? The Bible uses many words for virgin, okay? It uses this word here, Bethala, Beth, Bethula, let's hear it. Okay, Bethula. All right. Now it says basically. Um, virgin, pure, unspotted, so-called as being separated, and secluded from in uh, from intercourse with men. The root Arabic. So now we know that blue letter goes off. We know that blue letter goes on and some different stuff. But listen, when you buy certain things, now listen to the meaning of words. When you buy extra uh, virgin olive oil, are you buying olive oil, olives, or olive oil that's never um, had sex, <laughs> never been uh, used in a sexual, uh, some type of, uh, you know, experimentation? None of that sounds or makes any sense. So no, you're not. You're buying um, pure olive oil. But actually, it's so crooked that more than likely you're not even buying pure olive oil in in the states or even even overseas. You actually have to go to certain markets, um, certain uh, venues that have um, that actually advertise or not advertise, but uh, have what they advertise in its purest form: actual pure virgin olive oil. Um, very strong, very stringent, and um, just, I guess, strong, and what we have here isn't pure, but my point is, is that when you say virgin olive oil, it doesn't have anything to do with any kind of sexual um, inclination in nature, so, but that's how s silly and simple our people are, our people have literally latched on to the meanings of things, and just made it mean whatever, but moving on, um, it says here, Parthenos, okay, G3933, virgin, 
Okay, I'm going to read the scripture again. It says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us, or Yahweh with, uh, is with us. All right? So, very, very important um, that you understand, you know, where we're going as far as the different meaning of words. That the, that the scriptures will say earth, uh, your world, and those several different worlds. Okay, virgin, there's several different meanings of virgins, actual, literal, a young maiden, a young uh, person, a woman. Um, sometimes it's not even just a woman. It's just, you know, um, let's see if you look here at Parthenos, it says, it says a mar marriageable maiden. Okay, so that's literally the translation right there in, in Matthew 1 and, and, and 23. All right, a woman has never had sexual intercourse. Uh, one's marriageable daughter. Look at here. Oh, well, here also, a man who has, a man who has abstained from uncleanness and whoredom and attend, uh, and whoredom attendant on idolatry, and so has kept his chastity. But literally here, one who has never had intercourse with women. So it doesn't have to be just a woman, it could be a man, all right? And in this aspect here, right here, the first thing it says, a marriageable maiden. That's it. Okay, simply as that. All right, so that's a very huge factor amongst all the other breakdowns and, and further that are very good and, and deep. But we're just going to focus on that to get started with. You know, I'm a, I'm, um, do the spirit, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, is that we are led and our eyes are open, okay? The scripture says that his yoke is easy and his burden is light, all right? So, um, yeah, 